Hey guys, Jedi Westcott here, coming out with another LEGO Star Wars review. Today, the review will be on... Jobby's Palace. Um, I got it for my birthday. My birthday was last Wednesday. So, yeah, actually I didn't get it for my birthday. I got it as a Valentine's Day gift from my parents. Best Valentine's Day gift ever. Um, because my parents got it on sale at Walmart for, um, a hundred bucks, so... Yeah, my sister got a new pair of Uggs, and I got this. So, let's start with the box. Um, it's an age is 9 into 4. Set number is 9516. Jarvis Power, 717 pieces. There's the minifigures. I'll show the back. It just shows the playability and stuff. The box is huge, by the way. Like, like if you look at the size of the box, like, when I got it... My my mom and dad brought out a gift and like the bag was huge that they gave it to me in, so yeah. So here's the set itself. I'll start off with the minifigures. Um I don't know why they don't I don't think they consider him a mini Oh yeah they do. The B Omega Monk. This little guy. Um that falls off really easy as you can see. I just took it off to show you. And then the little thing falls out. He's really cool because He's one of the minifigures I always really wanted, and then I got him, and it won't stay together. So, I'm just going to set the camera down and fix it to show you guys a better angle. I was going to do this review a couple of days ago, and in Canada, there's a holiday called Family Day, and that's what today is. It's Monday, so. There he is. Not much. I'm not going to go into detail with him. Now we have Big Fortuna. Fortuna, Fortuna. Um, let me try and get good detailing on his eyes. There we go. Look at his eyes. Fucking angry. Pardon my French. Nice torso. Um, does not have any back printing. Um, heads. The, this comes off. For you viewers. Oh, it's really hard to do this with one hand. I can't do it. Because it's stuck to the kit. This comes off. And I don't know why. I guess to put on the kit. So he's a great figure. Um, yeah, better than the old version of him. Set him over there. Gumoyan Pig Guard. Definitely get the few. If you're even like a Lego fan, get this set for the minifigures. So much more detailing than the old one. Like, look at that head and that torso. Like, Jesus, Lego couldn't have done a better job. Good job, Lego. I think this set should have came with two pig guards, but it doesn't. Next we have, ah, uh, Salacious Crumb. That's his name. The little fucking monkey thing. Sorry about the swearing that sits on Job's lap. He's terrifying. He always scared me. He's got a little piece, so he can always, like, set him up there. You need a get point. Next is the best thing about the set. Jabba the Hut. So much detailing. His head actually spins. You're probably wondering what does that. Um, his head comes off. There's a stud there, and you just put it in, and he's got so much detailing, like, it looks like there's a tattoo on his arm, and stuff. I love Jabba. He's a set, even if you're a Clone Wars fan, you should get him, because he's in the Clone Wars, so. Yeah, set him over there. Oh, I don't know her name. I don't know her name. I'm going to have to look. Ooh-la, Ola. I think it's ooh -la. Good detailing. Um, it's weird. I don't want to sound weird here. But for some, most minifigures, they have, like, the boob outline. But, like, around the shirt, if you look at some of the minifigures. But she doesn't. So, I just noticed that. <laughs> good, 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 good look of her. She's got a double-sided torso. And she's got a double-sided head. That's the head when she gets eaten by the Rancor. And, yeah, I'll talk about the ankle after this. And uh, one of the last minifigures. Damn it, I don't have Chewbacca here. I just noticed that. Chewie. Ah, oh, I failed. We're going to keep going. Here's... What the hell is her name? Here's... Bosch. She's, I don't have the cane with her, but she's got a stick. The best piece is the grenade. Love the helmet. And then there's Leia. And I'm so glad that this set came with Leia's hair piece as well. As you can see, I'm just putting it on here. 
as you can see, it comes with a hair piece. And the head's double sided. Let me just spin it around. I guess this is sort of a pissed off looking face of Jabba. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then there's a double sided torso. Good minifigure. Um, let me take the hair off. And there goes the grenade. Um, and here's Han Solo and Carbonite. I actually have Han Solo. Here's the two different versions of Han. That's the A-Wing Han. Which I have the A-Wing. It's over the box over there. That's A-Wing Han, and this is Palace Han. Yes, he's good. No double side to so He's got the face where... He's coming out of Carbonite. And he can't really see. I took the hair off. He's got that. Oh, I can't see face. Oh, I'm squinting. It hurts. So, yeah. That's him. And then, of course, they have to include the Carbonite awesomeness. I think it sh there should have been a hatch on the back. And it could have been, like, his back. But they can only do so much. The last can in Carbonite was stupid. So, here he is. Um, I do not have Chewbacca here, I don't think. I think I left him. I so forgot Chewie. I solely forgot Chewie. Oh, no, I didn't. Aha, Matthew didn't fail. There's Chewbacca. I don't have the handcuffs on him. I got Chewie, guys. He's good. Handcuffs are here. Yeah. So, yeah, next to the palace. We'll start off on the outside. Such a big set. It took me three days of building to finish. So it's us on the outside here, the gateway. This is a little this turret that swivels 360 degrees. Next, the little thing that sticks out at c 3 po the little uka, uka jugupa. The thing about little speaks, you know, c 3 po And then when they open the gate, you use this thing, and that, and then it opens, and then shots. So yeah, that's a great feature. Um, this set, that, that looks so ugly. Why do they have to include a flick fire missile? Lego, you don't have to do it all the time. And then, if you pull on this, no. Wait, doesn't this back open it? Oh, this tower detaches, if you want to detach it. This tower detaches. I guess. That's not what I'm trying to do, though. <sighs> no. Never mind. It does, but I'm just not strong for the moment. I am. I'm just lazy. Um, the lid comes off. Simple as it can be. This is Jabba's throne. Let's go ahead and sit Jabba on it. There's Jabby. I accidentally took this off. Because this falls off so easily. I don't get it. It's like Jabba's smoking device, but then there's like his food in there. And let's go ahead and place Big Fortune on the back. It's like Jabba's bitch. No, again, me swearing, but ah, and then maybe I kind of wish they would have. I set this down. Included Princess Leia in slave outfit, but she, I think she's gonna be on this. The uh, I think she's actually gonna be on the sail budge. Salacious crumb is on there, and then. There's stuff under there, is more food, a blaster, and two coins. And then I have no idea what Lego installed that little stove for. What the f is that, Lego? I don't know what that is. So then you can just place Jabba back in here. And see so she's dancing for Jabba. Oh my god. He disobeys her and he slides in. I knocked over the ice cream. He slides in and she falls in the rain pit. Yeah, you can only really fit one minifigure in. But, yeah. See, the, I love that. She's awesome. So we're going to slide him up. Um, she can go here, I guess. Yeah, she's dancing. Um, what else do I have to show you? Is there anything else? Oh, yeah, the back side of the tower. Alcohol thingy. And a little sniping position. And I'm going to see if it will work this time. Is that... Not sure on which side I'm supposed to. I don't want to break it. There we go. I got it. 
I know this this kind of video might suck for you guys because you're not seeing a lot of me doing it. So if you pull on a head now, it'll open up to that. And I have no idea what Lego is doing here. Slides out. I guess it's just a feature. And you get to these accessories here. I guess it's just another play feature they decided to use. Sticks in there. And you can just pop the lid back on. I put it on this way. And that is good. This is, has to be the best set of 2012 or 2013 whenever it came out. I love it. If you're a LEGO Star Wars fan, you gotta get it. Even if you're a LEGO fan, you should get it. A great number of minifigures, I think. How many are there? 6, 7, 8, 10, 12. 12 minifigures? 10 minifigures if you include the Carbonite. Good set. I overall say you get it. It's Canadian, it's 150 American, I think it's 100. Um, here are the instruction books. It comes with two instruction books. Yeah. Yeah, um, so basically I have the Desert Skiff and the Jabba's Palace. So, oh yeah, all I gotta do is get the Rancor Pit and then I'm good. I have all, I have like the collection until the Desert Skiff comes out. Which uh, I think is in the summer, I believe. So yeah, you can also put hand and carbonite right there. Yeah, I'm so excited for the desert skiff and the gunship and the AT uh, AT AT ATST. I don't know, but I think I'm only going to be getting the desert skiff and the gunship. Uh, I really don't want to pass up the ATST or whatever again. AT AT, I think it is. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did. Pop up a, uh, just subscribe, put a like button, and I always love reading you guys' nice comments. So please comment. Uh, comment what review you would like to see the A Wing <clears throat> or a ton of other sets. Just comment. Thanks, guys, for watching. Thumbs up. Comment and subscribe. Bye, guys.